All right, good morning. Hold on. There I am. Good morning from Willow Beach. It's Wednesday morning. Day before trout plant. One boat here. That's my friend Adam. All right. Uh, like I kind of figured was going to happen, I got called into work last night, so I just got off work. It's, I don't know what time it is. Five something, six something Arizona time. But I'm in the autopilot again. We're going to go try and duplicate Saturday. We're gonna try and duplicate Saturday. No guarantees. All right, could be good, might be good, should be good. Nice and calm. Not many, not much traffic today, except for, you know, kayakers. And I'm one of them, so. It's those, uh, it's those shuttle rafts you gotta watch out for, because those guys, they drive like idiots, but, and they don't care. So anyways, here we go. Looking for some monster trout, or monster trout, no, uh, monster striper. So yeah, stick around, could be good. All right, can't believe I still got to say this, but I do, because if I don't, somebody's going to flame spare me. Yes, I'm in compliance with the Lake Mead National Recreation Area filming guidelines. Let's not worry about that. Let's just go find some fish. All right, now, we're rig, ready. Sun's coming up. Here we go. There we go, lost it. Oh, I'm sure I lost it. No, he is still there. Right, right towards me. Oh, I just lost him. Oh, look what he did to the lure. Knotted it up, he did. All right. He played with it for a while. I should retie that. And that's gonna break right off. All right, that one. He tapped at it for a while. I don't know if you can see the pole. But I saw the pole go like three times and then it just went whammo. So I'm staring at that pole. So if it starts doing that crap again, I'm gonna reach for it. But uh, he rolled, tied that lure up in a knot and I had to retie that. So that's a really good sign. I've been in the water like 20 minutes. All right. Oh, this one's tail wrapped. This ain't a good sign. Oh, he's not tail wrapped anymore. All right, turn you on. There you are. There he is. What's the guess? I don't even have one. Not yet. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Now, I put some lubrication on these things. So let's see. Oh, look at that. WD 40 does wonders. In your choppers, mister. No. They don't close quite as good as they used to. I don't exactly know why. Come on. Jeez, look what it did to the rod holder. Can you see the rod holder? Okay. There. I have to retie this again.
What in the world? They are escape artists. Don't get that big by being stupid. This is definitely going to need to be retied. That line's chewed up, I guarantee it. Alright, let's tip you up. Oh my goodness. Here I am trying to lose a fish. He slipped out of those freaking grippers right there. Now oh, I got problems. My drag off. Catch the leader, so it is a catch. I just don't know how much it weighs. Come back here. Now then. That's all 20. Ta -da. All right, we'll weigh up here in a second. I'm gonna pull there you are. There he is. What's the guess? I don't even have one. Not yet. 19.84. Let's get her back in the water. Oh, she's, she's got my freaking grippers. That is not good. Okay. Hold on for a minute. Got her back. Got my grippers back. Now we're gonna revive her. Whew. We gotta get out of these shallows. This will take a minute, but I don't kill big fish. Everybody knows that. Alright. It's a sad day. I just lost, lost that newly new hoogs bait. Something snapped this 40 pound leader like it was nothing. So that's not good. But uh, I know I can get another one. So, yeah, I'm talking to him today. But uh, I got a couple more glides, and I still got the fire, which it's a really good day. So I think I'm going to throw that fire out, and see what see what happens with it, because uh, this hoop was just producing, and now it's gone. It's a very sad day, but you know that's why it's fishing, I'm catching. Fish are in line for the buffet that opens tomorrow. So, here we go with fire. Alright. Came here twice in a row. Caught two big fish. The one I got today wasn't as big as the one I got Saturday or Sunday or whatever they were. Saturday. The one I lost is probably bigger. Snap 40 pound leader. Nothing. Skunk God says, Here's the deal. I'm gonna let you catch a fish, but I'm gonna take your secret weapon. Have fun with that. And it took it. It added to the collection of stuff I got down there. So it is a glide bait kind of bite right now. So I had six hits. 
right here. I lost that fish right here. So there's there's some big ones down there. Um, I don't know. I had my drag pretty loose. Might have been. Oh, it was on my. Oh. That's the fire. No, that's not the fire. That's a Garcia lure, though. And I lost him. No, he's still there. He's still there. No. He broke that off. Oh, my God. He broke 40 pound braid. Oh, he's still there. Get my lure back. That's the least I'm gonna do. All right, I got my lure back. And there's the one that broke it off. Right there. We're gonna weigh him. I can't really call it a catch because he broke my line, got away with it. But we're gonna weigh him, put him back. That's a 27 and a half pound fish. Can I call it a catch? It's in the boat, took the lure, broke 40 pound braid, 60 pound braid. Whew. And it took, we'll get the lure picture in a minute here. Look at the freaking size of that thing. I can only hope that uh, that camera right there got that pole take off. That will be awesome if it did. But after that initial fight, when he broke off the line, he kind of keeled over, float belly up. I don't know if this one's gonna make it. We're gonna we're gonna spend we're gonna spend the normal ridiculous amount of time reviving him though. Because that's what I do. My 20 wrap Albright knot held like a champ. There's where probably smacked it with its tail, my guess. Because it cut it pretty quick. So alright, now I gotta tie another one of those. Them there fancy spancy Albright knots. Let's see if I can do this on camera. First of all, you cut that where it was in the spool. So we don't want that. And I go 20 wraps. I hear Jim. I hear Jim and Andrew coming up behind me. I'm gonna lose their mind. No, that's not. That's touring kayaks. All right, so then you grab your, you make a loop, okay? With your leader, come up through the bottom. All right, give yourself enough on each end to pull it. So we're gonna give that more. I gotta start over. I've got pretty good at these, I can even tie them in the dark. My fingers have thought out enough, I can actually do it now. Give yourself enough room to go 20 wraps. Okay, pinch them together. Okay, start counting. One, two, stack them, stack them nicely. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You gotta, you gotta keep this tight. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 
Yeah, they're kind of hard to spot. Yeah, 20. There's 20 wraps. And you go back down through the hole you came up through. What? it? I don't have quite a nice setup like that one. Oh, I pull it together. Morning. How you doing? Oh, you got quite the setup. Thank oh, you. I have to sit on top, but that's about all I have. <laughs> well, this is oh, a. I said go up your trolling motor, but he hasn't put it on yet. That's just a gateway drug to one of these. That's all it is, for reals. <laughs> One? No, it's a, it's a motor. It's a oh, got a trolling motor right there. Are you catching anything? Oh yeah, I just caught a 27 pounder and I caught a uh, 20, 20 pounder earlier on. Nice. People that aren't from around here, they freak out when you tell them that there's 20 pound freaking teethy critters swimming around in this here water. She'd probably really lose marbles if I told her that I caught a 35 out of here. Three days ago. I'm not really happy with the looks of that, but it'll do. It's not going through the eyes, so that'll hold. All right, that's it. I got to put a swivel on here, put that lure back on, and go back to business. We're going to run back up river run right back through where I just came and go to the dock. If anybody out there is interested in this Phoenix Custom, I want to say it's eight and a half foot. Uh, it's graphite rod. Tom Takamoto signature. Uh, it's got a Lexa 400 on it. Shoot me a sensible offer. If you're in the area, you know how to get hold of me. But uh, I gotta get another one of these. Um, what is it? Okuma Copper. I sent somebody the exact number of it and I know exactly where I can get one from. Eight and a half foot. It's, it's a perfect rod. I wish I had three more of them. But I'm going to pair another one of those with probably a reel just like that. Either uh, Irv gave me that one. So that's a Penn Dottle 3 6000. Either a 6 or a, six or a 4. Would, this one, 4, I believe. This one's a 4. And before the 6, this was my go to winch on a stick. No, nope, that's five. So probably a five. Four or five. Or five or a six. But uh shoot me an offer. That likes a four hundred. And that uh it's just it doesn't have enough spring. For me. It's it's got more spring than the other one. That the Akuma heavy heavy that I had. But it doesn't have enough. Uh, it it snapped that and unless it just death rolled. But I lost four fish on that pole today, and I'm a trolling guy. So, but if you're if you're if you'd like to throw big swim baits, that's the setup for you. And no, I'm not going to split it up. So come at me with a sensible offer, and we'll talk. Okay. Just ran into my buddies over here. They went down river. They got one fish. They got one fish up in here. And I told them the whole mess of adventures I've been having up in here and uh, it's pretty unbelievable but I think Andrew wants this pole with the Lexa 400 on it I got to get another one of these that's all there is to it and uh, I got to get some big maybe we can if I babble enough uh, something just freaking jumped right there we're gonna like come over here um, told him the whole mess of adventures that happened this morning they're gonna do another loop and I'll probably meet them back at the dock. But lost a hoog. Uh, before I lost the hoog, I got a 20 pounder on it. Then I lost like at least four fish on this pole. Because of no springy, no springy enough. They took they cut my 
the reason I went to the um, the pole or the pole with the Lexa on it was they cut my leader down to like less than a, well it was about a foot maybe a little more than a foot and I figured I needed more than that so they said okay how you like this I'm gonna cut that braid take your hoog devastating so because uh, there there's some there's some big ones up in here and what they're doing is they're grabbing it and they're rolling it the the first one I caught was tail wrapped and that's just that sends me into panic mode when I see a fish that's tail wrapped because they'll they'll go limp and they'll curl up and then when they get near the boat they just start flopping and they'll they'll shear the line but uh, I think I actually got that one but it was a lane line breaking kind of day out here and, uh, got caught some nice fish so we're gonna head down this line right here. Can't be within 200 feet of that fishing pier right there. We're gonna run down this parallel of this buoy line right here and uh, head to the dock. Watch my pole bounce. I think the, I think the current's kind of slack because it happened to speed her up over here. There we go. So yeah, I'm heading in. So a lot less weeds, but there's a bunch of junk in the water. There's a bunch of little stuff in the water. But if you got a lure that goes back and forth, I haven't had any weeds on on uh, the Garcia lure over here. None. Hard to imagine. Because well, it's head shakes down there like this. Blah, 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 blah. So I know if you go that side of that buoy, that's right there cut in close to it, that current will drag your lure right into it. Ask me how I know that. Uh, watch Saturday morning's video to see what happens when you get too close to the wrong side of that buoy. It's gonna do it. I'm pulling in. Uh, it was... It was Mr. Garcia for the win, for the redemption today. He got the big fish. And uh, he healed my broken heart a little bit. I still lost to Hoogs. So, I hurt. I hurt a lot. Second trip. Um, hooked a lot of fish on it today. Hooked a lot of fish on the wrong pole. Should have taken the time and tied a knot in this with uh, the 30 pound floral, which I've caught hundreds of fish on. Instead, I had faith in this pole right here which uh i shouldn't have my bad took my hoogs but uh it's gone we'll fix it part of fishing gotta be prepared to let them go the lures but uh that that fish that you know broke off there there there's some big freaking fish up here what he did is he took it, he bit it, and he death rolled. So he cut it with his dorsal or his tail, um, and it was lodged in his throat. So if I would have just not gone back for him, he'd have died. So got over to him, pulled him up into the kayak, revived him to be caught another day. Nice 27 pounder. So not really a catch, but sort of kind of a catch, um, kind of a rescue. Still a nice fish. But, um, yeah, check out the Amazon links down there. There's all kinds of good stuff. Uh, like and subscribe, please. Give it a share. Mash the dude over there. Floating around with the kayak, if you would, please. I'm trying to watch for weeds. Uh, coming out, they were kind of shallow. Also, sometimes up in here, you'll see just monsters hanging out by the dock. But you can't fish here. And I'm pretty sure they know it. So we should probably well with this buggy down just a tiny little bit um yeah uh back to work tomorrow night for another four i have one day off i was supposed to my five off turned into two off one on look at that can you see it is it a striper
No, that's a big old carp. Uh, two off, one on, one off, four on. Don't try to don't try to understand it. It'll make you crazy. I have to uh, I have to look at my schedule on a daily basis to figure out when I go back to work. I'm four feet of water, and I'm like, you know, 100 feet from the dock. What are you? You're another carp. See him? I caught bigger striper than you today, Mister. So all in all, you know, it it was a good day, but man, it hurts my heart a little bit losing it, losing that bait. That was a good bait. That was a very productive bait. So as soon as I as soon as I get some service, I'm gonna be talking to Mister Hoog, and uh, we gotta get us some more of those. That thing is absolutely amazing. But it was Mr. Garcia for the win. For the win and the redemption. Thank you, Tony. Uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes they like the glides more. Uh, they wouldn't touch that fire today. I drug the fire right through where I hooked that 27-pounder. Drug that fire through there like five times. I put that thing on there. Whammo. It took it. You know, so there goes the whole, you know, Color does matter at Willow Beach sometimes, I guess. That and that looks a whole bunch like a trout. That's kind of what he's shooting for there, you know. So, but uh, the fire trout, fire trout has its days. You know, sometimes they they change their they change it up. Hello, birdie. How you doing, little birdie? See, that's another one of my little theories. You know, animals know that you're not going to hurt them. He knows I'm not here to hurt him. There he goes. He's gone. So that was pretty cool. Uh, another Willow Beach miracle. I have never lost a fish and had it come up to the top going, help me, help me. I have a great big gigantic lure stuck in my throat. So, you know, that. And I looked around and saw that, and I'm like, holy crap. Can I get over there before he wakes up? But he was just, like, floundering because uh, the lure was stuck in his, in his, in his chapas. So, all right, I gotta go. Um, like I said, I'll see you on the water, okay? Have a great day. Thanks for watching. All right, this is the last clip, I promise. Fully loaded autopilot 136 with the cart right there. Put the strap over the front of the seat. I keep saying this and nobody believes me. I just drugged this up the ramp. That is, what is it? What is it? 20 point, 19.88 pounds. So, cart placement is everything. I keep preaching it, but you know, you do you get this cart and just slide it underneath. It floats up against the bottom of the kayak. It's the most amazing cart ever. All right, I gotta break this down and load up. So there you go, that's it. Thanks for watching, have a great day.